in Indonesia, there is an endemic bird species called the Chichikofi Malay. The naming is probably because the color of the birds is similar to the color of coffee. In English, the birds are called chestnut back scimitar babblers. However, many people still don't know that the chestnut back scimitar babbler is further divided into two species the Javan scimitar babbler and the Sunda scimitar babbler. And the birds that we will discuss in this video are the Javan scimitar babbler. It's the aviary! Guys, Guys, the next bird we will be releasing is the Javan scimitar babbler. There have been seven birds of this species released here. Now we will release another one thus there are eight of them. They are birds that live in colonies and they live in the bush. They include bush birds. We take it out now. Get ready. It is Javan scimitar babbler. Javan scimitar babbler. The Javan scimitar babbler or Pomatorhinus montanus is a medium sized songbird with a body length of about 24 centimeters. Their upper body is brown, while the lower body is predominantly white. However, the main attraction of these birds lies in their heads. Their faces are dashing, complemented by their sharp eyes, long curved yellow beaks black crowns and cheeks, and striking snow-white eyebrows. The male and female Javan scimitar babbler are almost identical. However, male birds are generally larger than females. Unlike their brother, the Sunda scimitar babbler, which is endemic to Borneo, Sumatra, and Malaysia, the Javan scimitar babbler is only spread over the island of Java, Indonesia, to an altitude of more than 1,500 meters above sea level. Their natural habitat includes lowland forests, bamboo forests, hilly areas, to mountain forests. They belong to the type of resident birds. So, even if they change their place of residence, their displacement will not be far. They often flock in bushes or grass to hunt for food. Their favorite diet consists of fruits, seeds, and small animals such as beetles, spiders, caterpillars, grasshoppers, grubs, snails, and cicadas. Although the Javan scimitar babbler can live alone, they mostly live in small groups in the lower or middle layers of the forest. They often group with laughing thrusts, especially the rufous-fronted laughing thrush, a bird also endemic to Java. So, if we find a rufous-fronted laughing thrush in the wild, there's a good chance there's a Javan scimitar babbler nearby. But unfortunately, rufous-fronted laughing thrush was already very rare. Their status is even at the critically endangered level and is now suspected of being extinct in the wild. Back again to the Javan scimitar babbler. The sound of these birds tends to be monotonous, even though the volume is quite loud, especially if they sense danger around them. At such a time, the group leader will make a sound like an alarm so that his friends quickly hide in the bushes. Yeah. 
Their movements are quite agile. The agility of the Javan scimitar babbler helps them to trick and distract the predators that are targeting them. These birds breed throughout the year, with the peak lasting from May to June. After mating, they will build nests in bushes or trees. Their nests are shaped like large balls made of fern leaves, grass, and twigs covered with moss. The population of Javan scimitar babblers is still quite a lot in the forests on the island of Java. Their status on the IUCN red list is still in the least concern category. However, because these birds are endemic birds in Java, you must come to Java if you want to see them in person. At De Hakim's aviary, with the eight Javan scimitar babblers released, hopefully, they will succeed in breeding so that their chicks can someday be released into their natural habitat and then join their siblings. Wish us luck.